Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. This afternoon I'm joined by Jennifer Opiak. Hi Jennifer, thanks for joining me today. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, gold prices continue to soar to new record highs. Can you tell me a little bit about why investors as well as traders are flocking to this precious metal? You know, there's been so much uncertainty in the market with the Eurozone crisis the Euro, uh, and the United States debt crisis. People are looking for safety. It's been a flight to quality. Well, Jennifer, can you tell me how investors as well as traders can get in on all this uh, price action we're seeing for gold? Well, a lot of investors use uh, mining equities, but uh, more and more we're hearing from investors and traders that they want to participate in the metal itself. One way to do that is through NYSE Life US mini gold and mini silver futures, which are actually backed by physical metal. And if you take delivery, you could withdraw it from the uh, warehouse. And it's interesting, Jennifer, because when we're light watching late night commercials, we're seeing more advertisements for uh, just regular consumers and how they can cash in on gold. But what do you think about gold uh, ETFs? Well, ETFs is also a great way. I mean, because it came out less than 10 years ago and it's been a boon to American investors. It's been an easy way for them to have exposure. Uh, you know, but now as the market has grown and interest has grown, uh, you know, the number of products have diversified and the exchange wants to offer uh, different ways for people to have access. And can you tell me a little bit about the risks associated with this? Risks associated with uh, precious metals trading uh, and investing, really the, probably uh, from an investment standpoint, it, it is not an interest bearing instrument. So you'd have to look at that down the road, uh, you know, if you thought at some point interest rates were going to rise. So uh, toward that argument, uh, deflation, uh, some people say, is a good time to own metals. And Jennifer, last but not least, before we wrap it up, uh, gold has been taking the spotlight, but what about silver? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, silver is also a precious metal, and it definitely has moved up this year about 35%, which is actually pretty much this percentage is gold. Uh, however, half of uh, silver's demand is industrial-based. So if people think that we are in for a recession, you know, they may pull back on the silver, and that's what's been happening. Silver has been moving up uh, with gold prices, but not at the same furious pace. Okay, Jennifer, thank you so much for your time today, and thanks for weighing in on both gold and silver prices. You're welcome, thanks.